Oh yeah, Pokémon, the popular monster catching game and the biggest franchise of all time. Not one of the biggest, the biggest. If you don't know the fantastic adventures of the pocket monsters, then get a life, man. You mean get a job, make a family and be a respected part of society? Because they are doing exactly that. What I meant is, from the last more than 25 years, Pokémon become so successful, at this point everybody knows about it, at least everybody knows about Pikachu. By the way, raise your hands in the comment section if your mom's favorite Pokémon is Psyduck, my mom can identify him because of his non-stop headache. And of course, through the years, they manufactured a bunch of merchandise, figures, books, Pokéballs, Pokédexes, pest dispensers, literal airplanes, and many, 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 many plushies. Except these ones, these are made by my fiancé. Yes, she is that good. But what we did not get all this time, other than an idea, is an official LEGO set. So we have to look for some alternatives. How dare you get the knockoff LEGO set? How dare they not produce any kind of anime related sets? And because we are getting a new Pokémon ZE game, in 2025, finally Zygarde and the Mega Evolutions get some justice, I decided to check out the Mega Bloks Pokémon Pikachu Evolution and the Eevee Evolution sets, so let's take a look at them with my partner Ravage. Got to catch them all, mate, bags. First, let's check out the Pikachu line starting with Pichu, the cutest of them all, he's just so adorable with his tiny legs, tiny arms and huge ears, I love this baby Pokémon so much, but don't let his look fool you, because this little yellow rodent can be dangerous, I know because he's my all-time favorite in Super Smash Bros Ultimate, and trust me, if he starts taking himself seriously, then you are truly finished. Posibility wise we have 8 joints on his little body, so he's not highly posable, none of the figures are really, but as you can see, you can put him into some really cute poses. If you are good friends with Pichu, he will evolve into Pikachu, who is the main mascot of the franchise, and because of that... Everywhere I go, I see his face. Yeah, at this point I have a Pikachu fatigue, but the figure itself is good, you can tell this was one of the first what Mega Bloks ever produced, he's suspiciously the same height as Pichu and also the same height as Eevee, but he's got the job done, I really like this unique tail piece, but the whole body is good as well, however the arms are look a bit strange, I think he's the closest to be a blocky Lego figure, and yes, he also has 8 joints in his body to make some funny little silly poses. Pikachu? Whoa, language. And of course, if you use a Thunderstone on Pikachu, he becomes Raichu, the biggest of them all, he has some quite unique rubbery parts at the tail and the ears, I really like the look on his face, there is no thoughts in his head, but definitely a happy little fella, he has 10 joints in his body, if we are counting the rubbery tail and the whole guy is just a nice round boy. Oh, but Silver, what if she's a girl, why are you like this? Because you can literally tell they are boys, that's why. And also we have a rooftop for the guys, which is fine, I guess the build itself isn't the bad, we even get some interesting unique pieces and details, but of course it's not Lego level quality, the bricks feels a little bit cheap, however it's definitely better than I expected, plus you can use it as a base for the trio, they are looking fantastic together, this little diorama like build was a nice choice, and it makes my corrupted rotten soul a little bit happier just to look at them. What was that about your soul? Anyway, I think we admire the Pikachu evolution line enough, now let's check out the Eevee evolution line, aka the evolutions. The first stop of course will be Eevee himself, who is my favorite normal type Pokemon of all time, I just love this guy back and forth, because he's just so goddamn cute. He's also nicely posable thanks to the 12 joints in his body, 8 of them are ball joints, so he's the most posable of them all, he can even sit down like a good boy. And also he's awesome, because you have the option to evolve him into 8 different Pokemon, all of them have a different type as well, so there is no excuse not to love this guy with all of your heart. Of course we're gonna check out them one by one, in Pokédex order, so first let's see the Generation 1 trio, the evolutions of my childhood. By the way guys, did you know that in terms of- NO GOD! NO GOD PLEASE NO! 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 Vaporeon is the most- NO! Our first evolution is Vaporeon, the water Pokémon, and oh my god I did not expect these guys to be this big. 
Of course I thought they will be slightly bigger than Eevee, but no, they are at least twice as big as him, which was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. However, which is a little bit strange, Vaporeon has 11 joints in his body, which is good. But come on guys, he's twice as big as Eevee, why can't you just use the same ball joints for bending elbows as they did with Eevee? He surely has the space for that on these long legs. Speaking of long... No! Other than that, the build itself is nice, the possibility is decent, and the whole design is still cute as hell. Fun fact, the tail piece are literally leaves, I love it. Also fun fact if you pull... Ravage, shut the fuck up! Aww. Next up is Jolteon, the electric Pokémon, my favorite of the original three, the speedy boy, who has a nice and pointy sharp design, however he is least possible, he only has 8 joints in his body, but as you can see, he can still hold some cute poses. I'm sure you already noticed the tissue paper piece at his leg, I have to dump this because this is the only connection which is extremely loose, that's one of the reasons we cannot say Mega Bloks on the same level as LEGO, because sometimes the pieces a micrometer different out of the box, which never ever happened with me if we are talking about LEGO. But it's just my copy and just one small issue, I still love him, he's my little sparky spark, if anything happens to him, I will kill everyone in this room and then myself. What the fu- Here comes our last generation 1 Pokemon, the Fire-type Flareon, who is extremely despised among the fans, so let me tell you this right now. He is the most warm and huggable Pokemon of all time, he's just so goddamn fluffy. He's also nicely possible with his 9 joints, and I really like the build for his tail, I think he is the closest to be a fox among them. What animal is Eevee exactly? According to my fiancé, he is a cat dog fox. What? Next one is Espeon, the psychic Pokemon, with an elegant pink design, he is my least favorite from the branch, I like the rest of them more, but don't get me wrong, I still like him, he also has nice joints in his body, so you can flat down the little fella too. Ok, he's got them cute as well. Before I forget, I want to mention the rubbery pieces on his cheeks, which make him even more cute, I love this solution, by the way, the previous forms also have these at their necks as well. Which is not the case with Umbreon, the dark Pokemon, who doesn't have any rubbery parts and he is one of my favorite evolutions of all time. I just love this little demon, especially his shiny form, god damn it's unbelievable how good it is. He also has 9 joints in his body, so he can be an adorable walkie boy as well, and just a little fun fact, some BODY once told me, Umbreon or any of the monsters can be your favorite Pokemon just because they are cute. Um, bro. Do you have any idea how merchandise works? After the generation 2, let's check out the generation 4 evolutions, starting with Leafeon, who has a special place in my heart, because I'm just a biased lover of grass type Pokemons in general, and I also like his design, with the random leaves growing out of his body here and there, which are also rubbery material, he has 10 joints in his body, and if anyone ever will tell me to touch some grass, I will just pet his little head, because he's my little spinach, and I love him. His brother is the Ice-type Glaceon, who also doesn't have any rubbery pieces on his body, just like Umbreon, but still has a mesmerizing elegant design, 9 joints in his body and a nice little happy smile on his cute face. You are really enjoying yourself in this video, aren't you? Just look at his face and tell me you're not. I mean, I'm not sad. Good enough for me. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Generation 6 Fairy-type Sylveon, who is an absolute beast in the games, definitely one of my favorite, I love him so much. He also has 9 joints in his body, the pink design, the little bows and ribbons makes him adorable as hell, he is the little sugar for your coffee, a 4 leg little fairy of this family. Unfortunately my copy has some issues like the smudges on his face, I tried to remove them but with that I caused a little paint chipping on his forehead, so good advice, don't rub the paint too much, so I will just say he's more adorable this way, he's straight out of a scene where he ate your last slice of birthday cake. And there we have it, all of the different Eevee evolutions, we don't have a base like the rooftop for the Pikachu line, but we don't need it, they are good the way they are, and together they look just fantastic. I left the building experience for last, I ordered these nice boxes from Amazon, the package is good and functional, I love we can open them one by one, the way we want to build, with their own individual instructions, 
other than the rooftop base, the pieces for the Pokemons themselves has a surprisingly nice quality, the building itself was enjoyable, you can tell by the figures it wasn't monotone at all, we have some similar pieces and shapes, yes, but the overall look and building technique is diverse enough to keep your attention to the end, and as I said before, we have a bunch of unique pieces that you cannot see in LEGO sets, however you're not gonna take these figures apart because the stat connections are extremely tight, so we can say it is still a LEGO-like build, but with a tiny amount of model kit feel as well, so without any more to say, it was a good time to put these little fellas together. By the way, which one is your all-time favorite EV evolutions? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. For some size comparison here they are next to Model Kit Glaceon, Model Kit Steelix, Model Kit Garchomp, the Pichu plushes, and of course the inimitable MPP Tenzi Weijang Masterpiece Optimus Prime. What can we tell about the Mega Bloks Pokemon sets in the end? I will give 3 Pokeballs out of 5. This is such an enjoyable little line of these creatures, yes it has its issues, the quality isn't at the level as the LEGO sets, the pieces can be loose and we have the paint chipping problem, but other than that it's still a really good time to build these guys, they are nice as a display piece and you can actually play with these things, plus they are unbelievably adorable, so if you wanted to try one of the Mega Bloks Pokemon figures, do not hesitate, buy these little puppies to your collections or the other pocket monsters that you like, I can highly recommend them, because without any doubt, these adorable capsule creatures are absolutely worth it. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to the channel Meatbags, because next time we're going back to Cybertron.